Hi there, we're on the June 2012 Regents exam and we're on page 13, questions 71 through 75. And let's see what these want us to do. A river has a current flowing with a velocity of 2 meters per second due east. So here well, we've got the north bank, there's a the south bank of a river. So here's a river, north south due east is um, two meters per second due east. So going this way, it's going to be like two meters per second. Something like that. There's probably going to be a scale involved, but uh, two meters per second. A boat is 75 meters from the North River Bank. So 75 meters uh, total distance. It travels at three meters per second relative to the river and is headed due north. So it's going to go that way at 3 meters per second. Now automatically I can tell you it's going to take 25 seconds to get across because if velocity is distance over time we know the velocity is 3 meters per second, the distance is 75 meters, so time would be distance divided by velocity, 75 divided by 3, 25 seconds. I don't know if they're going to ask for that, but golly it's there. I can do that enough math in my head. So now I'm already ahead of the game. I don't know what they're going to ask for, but uh, I know something. And at 2 and 3, in that 25 seconds, it's going to go down river 50 meters. Look at all the stuff I can tell you about this, just with this one equation. Well, let's go see what they're asking. All right, here we go. Question 71 and 72. Calculate the time required for the boat to cross the river. Show all the work, including the equation substitution with the unit. Pfft, we did that in our head. Let's go ahead and get points for it. See, what do we know about crossing the river? Well, let's see. We know that the distance was equal to, uh, what, 75 meters? Yeah, 75 meters. And the velocity that was getting us to cross the river is this 3 meters per second thing. So the velocity is 3 meters per second. And we're looking for time. We know the formula for uh, velocity. That's the first one we ever learned. Velocity equals distance over time. We do our algebra to solve for time. I always multiply to get rid of the divided by. So time on both sides. So VT equals distance. Distance equals velocity times time. And I want time by itself, so I divide both sides by velocity. Time is equal to distance divided by velocity. And then I can plug in my uh, knowns. 75 meters divided by 3 meters per second. A little algebra trick there. Uh, 75 divided by 3 is 25. seconds. Listed my knowns with units, wrote my equation plugged in with units, and then got a correct answer with units. I'm getting two points for that. I know I will. All right, question 73. On the diagram in your answer booklet, so here's the diagram in our answer booklet, use a ruler and protractor to construct a vector representing the velocity of the river. And we were told earlier that uh, the velocity of the river is due east. Draw it again. And uh, it's going eastward. It's traveling at 2 meters per second. Well, now it wants a vector, and it wants it drawn to scale. 1 centimeter meter equals a half a meter per second. 1 centimeter is 0.5 meters per second. If I multiply that by my 2 meters per second, I uh, end up dividing by 0.5, and so that's 4 centimeters. I need something that's 4 centimeters long, and so I set it up. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. Now, typically you get plus or minus uh, a couple of millimeters, but we're going to let it go at that. Now the arrow indicates where the arrow ends, that's the end of our vector. I'm going to go ahead and erase part of this line I drew, just so there's no confusion. I've got it uh, labeled 2 meters per second. That's the current downriver. All right, so the current's pushing it this way, the motor on the boat's pushing it that way. Obviously the boat's going to go off this way. All right, let's do this. 
74 and 75, it wants you to calculate or find graphically the magnitude of the resultant velocity of the boat. Show all work, including the equation, substitution with units, or construct the resultant velocity vector in your answer booklet. Let's do the math method first. Let's say um, we know that uh, velocity in the x is 2 meters per second. Let me get this up here where you can see it. Velocity in the x is 2 meters per second. Velocity in the y is 3 meters per second. X, Y. We can let Y act like that. The resultant's going to be somewhere like this. Velocity resultant. Well, that's Pythagorean. This is uh, A, B, C, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We're looking for C. So A squared plus B squared is equal to C. So I can write the equation that my resultant, velocity resultant, is equal to the square root of velocity x squared plus velocity y squared. So now if I want to substitute with units, my velocity resultant equals the square root of um, 2 meters per second squared plus 3 meters per second squared. Alright, so the velocity resultant is equal to the square root of uh, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, so the square root of 13, and uh, meters squared per second squared, if we're going to do it right. So we say the square root of 13, and what, it's going to be 3.60. So our velocity result is 3.6 meters per second. That's the mathematical technique. We listed our knowns, we wrote the formula, we plugged in with units, and we've got a mathematical answer. Now the other thing we can do is to draw a scale diagram showing, and as the instructions tell us, if we're going to do this, we must show the resultant velocity vector. The velocity vector is a very specific thing. It has an arrow at the end of it, so without that arrow it's no longer a velocity vector. And here's the idea with uh, the graphical method for solving these, is that uh, I can let the 2 meter per second current carry it down the river, and then pretend as though the 3, and let's see, this is going to be uh, 6 long, that makes sense for my scale. So we let the 2 work first, and then we let the 3 work. And the boat will be as though it was pushed downstream and then went, it, and then went across. Or we could let the motor boat motor act first and then let the current carry it downstream. This is called the parallelogram method of drawing vectors. And uh, the beauty of vectors is that uh, mathematically we can deal with them as though we acted one at a time. So we got the 2 or the 3, or the 3 and the 2. Um, the upshot is the same. It'll start here, and it'll end up here. So our resultant vector is going to look like this. It's going to start at this point. It's going to end right at that exact point. And at that point, we need to draw an arrow, because that, in fact, is the vector. And so now, uh, we measure the length of this thing. And it comes out to be... Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, and let's say seven point one. Let's say seven point one centimeters. And at uh, point five, point five, uh, well, one centimeter for half a meter per second. One centimeter. Can't believe I'm doing that. 1 centimeter, 0.5 meters per second. So uh, uh, 7.1 times 0.5 will tell me my uh, length in uh, my scale length. 7.1 times 0.5, 3.55. meters per second. 
Uh, so 3.6 meters per second and 3.55, so we're off by five hundredths, which is uh, very small for our diagram. So there's both techniques. The mathematical, list your known uh, equation, substitution with units, and an answer. Or the graphical method, don't forget you have to draw a vector to get um, the full credit. All right.